Hello and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'll go over how to speedrun fast as duck, beginner level to professional level. Uh, there might be some glitches that I don't show in the video, but that's probably because they're too hard for a normal human to do in a run. Okay, so first up, I will show you how to use every single ability and item in the game. We can start off with this button and block thing. Basically the block is powering the button that opens a door inside the room over there I can show you. So there's the button and the block is in the little room on the side and it opens the door there. It's not very useful. Then we have this ragdoll. We don't really know what it does. It just kind of exists. It's, it's not used anywhere. Uh, I guess I, I'll show you one way to use it but like nah. Then we have this duck where you basically just jump on it while holding shift to like fly far further. Uh, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild's uh, bullet town bounce if you heard of that. We have this duplicator that duplicates any object in the game including you. So for example this duck if you just place it on the green I click the button and it's get duplicated. Uh, and then we also have the bomb, which I can't show you here, but you will see it in every single run. So first is the beginner level. We have uh, all the controls up in the top left in your escape menu. So just click the button with F, place it behind you and jump and click F to activate it. So you go all the way over to the other side. Well, whenever you hold jump, you go backwards a lot. So uh, the fastest pace for this game is holding S and back and jump at the same time. Like most of the runs you will see will use that. And then we'll pick up this duck, just jump on it. Easy, uh, easy, just get high ground. Then you're in this lava room where you just have to jump over. I, I brought the duck, you don't need to. Uh, yeah, just throw it in the lava lol. Anyway, uh, so then we come to the duplicated room, as we call it, where we grab this TNT barrel thing, stand on top of it. If you hold, you just fly. If you jump, you go a bit faster. Get to high ground, you go down on the other side, then put it under you, uh, stand on top of it, hold S and hold space, or just hold S, activate it, and you get to the top. Also, Remember, you can always listen to those headphones to like get hints for every room on how to do it. Uh, anyway, we get to this big empty room that we don't know how to use. If you look down, hold click and look up, uh, as you can see, the room moves. That's because the room uh, acts on a, as an object like every other object, so you can turn it around. Anyway, that's done. So now you get to the elevator, uh, which you have to skip through if you don't want to wait forever. You do that by crouching in around this area, then crowd and um, crouching, yeah, and just uh, keep going. Then reset level is the fastest way to do most of the runs. Uh, say you reset level, jump over the two rooms, grab either the barrel which I show here, and jump over. Do not fall off like I did, but yeah. <laughs> uh, or you can grab uh, this block which is often used in the restricted glitches run, which is only like intentional glitches, uh, where you kind of use it to skew yourself. So you position it like this, and then you basically jump and click at the same time, uh, like this, and then scoop yourself up, and you're over. Uh, there's also the duck. Uh, it was used before, we don't use it anymore. Uh, or this ragdoll, like this is what I talked about, it, like, Two minutes ago where basically you can use this to gain some speed and potentially lift yourself up but it's there's all better choices I don't think it's worth using it so anyway as I said if you want to use this duck you should probably do it like this so hide it behind the TNT explode the TNT while holding the duck don't fail like I did but like turn a little bit a little bit slower than me and then you can just jump up above uh, above the wall and uh, when you're above the wall just drop out down on the other side land about here and then just hold S and space 
and when you're on the last jump hold control to like become a little bit smaller and then you just basically get into the room uh, yeah so that's the beginner level now we can go to uh, the more advanced level basically stand here just jump straight backwards and you'll get straight to the duck room <laughs> yeah and then instead of jumping on this duck, you kind of launch yourself up and then hold S in space to go all the way over. Uh, then in the lava room, you should try to always have three jumps. I kind of miss it all the time, but yeah. So three jumps like I did here. Get to this room. You should usually reset the room whenever you're far away from your objective. But uh, yeah, do it like this. I messed up, but basically you can scoop yourself with that. I'll show a better example, la example later, but basically you can skip yourself with that, uh, like this, and then explode yourself instantly. I messed up, but yeah, it just, uh, explode yourself instantly. And here, instead of like dropping all the way down, try to grab it on the way, and then you can like cl kind of clip through in into the box. You learn it over the time. And from here, it's basically the same as uh, the beginner level. As you can see there, I kind of jumped like twice backwards and then turned. That's what I find the most consistent. I also messed up that, but uh, I still get quite a lot shorter time. You can probably get down to around 45 seconds with this. Uh, here is my my personal best doing the most advanced version. As you can see, I kind of jump with the barrels to get out of the spawn room all the way to the lava room the long stretch with lava in it land in the lava and then that loads like the duplicate room and whatever because if you don't do that you kind of just fall out of the map so you land in the lava with speed then you get about two jumps uh, after you spawn like one is directly at the start of your spawn and then one is like halfway through and then on the last jump you kind of just get so much speed that you go all the way to the other side of the room. You go through the door and hit reset level and yeah. That's about 8 seconds if you get it correctly. Uh, then you get this TNT barrel thingy. Um, as I showed you, you kind of just jump on it, scoop yourself up super fast. And you should be up to the big room in about 13 to 16 seconds in general uh, in the big room here is the like big trick for advanced no professional level if I can call it that where you basically yeah you do this <laughs> which makes you glitch to the trigger that uh, loads the new map where the like long stretch with all the stuff in it um, instead of having to go through the elevator and everything you just kind of skip it all at the same time so you reset level you spawn up here and then it's the same as uh, before and with this alone you should be easily able to get less than 40 seconds like in most of your runs if you do everything consistently and then we have one other trick newly discovered like it was discovered maybe two days ago or three days ago but we didn't hit it before two days ago uh the current world record also uses it which is the skip or it's kind of hard to do but if you hit it it's super like it, it saves maybe 10 seconds so here it is Basically, you land on the side here. I am holding shift, meaning I slow down my game a lot. But you land on the side, jump, and you, you kind of just get to the end level instantly without going through all the mess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I will now show my run versus the world record run. It's the second mo fastest and for, uh, like fastest right now as of the recording of this video it will kind of show the time save from that one skip at the end